very glad to share about one more prayer with you all. Uh, today's thought about the prayer is 2 Chronicles chapter 14 verse 11. This is a prayer of King Asa. And Asa cried out to the Lord, his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing for you to help, whether with many or with those who have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on you. And in your name, we go against this multitude. O Lord, you are our God. Do not let man prevail against you. When Asa did this prayer, he mentioned one thing. Lord, it is nothing for you to help, whether with many or with those who have, who have no power. God knows how to help you. Whether you have many support or nothing. Whether you have more power and no power. He is able to help you. He knows how to bring you out from the enemy's hand. That time King Asa was surrounded by the enemies, but he cried out to God. Then he said, let man should not prevail against you. Do not let man prevail against you. God will never allow man to prevail him. That means God is Almighty. People are nothing before God. Maybe they can give you a lot of trouble, but He is going to help you and He will show that He is your God. He will do the fight for you. He will bring you out of enemy's plan, enemy's hand. You will see the victory. Just tell the Lord, Lord, it's easy for you to help me, Lord. Lord, I am having no power against these enemies. But God is Almighty. No one can stand against God. So when you pray, pray with faith. He is going to help you. Amen. You will see the hand of God. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, help your people. Lord, whether they have power or not, let them see your mighty hand. Let them see your help, Lord. In Jesus' name, I bless them. Lord, bring them out from every battlefield. Bring them out from every enemy's plan. Let your mighty hand do a miracle in their life. Encourage their prayer life for Master. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God heard the prayer of King Asa and he did a miracle. He will do it for you also. Be encouraged. God bless you.